I love this so much, I'm crying. Welcome back to the Midlife Ride. I'm Catherine. Chris is behind the camera right now, just for a second, just to see how it feels. <laughs> we are at Julian Serrano Tapas in the Aria, and I am so excited to be here because we may not have told you previously, but this used to be one of our very favorite restaurants. We would come multiple times each trip and just order all different kinds of things. We haven't been here probably, I would say, at least four years. So I'm really excited to order some new stuff. They have changed the menu quite a bit. So we don't have any of the things on here that we have ordered before, which is kind of good for us because it's going to force us to order some new things and find some new favorites. I have so many good memories from this place. I really think it was like instrumental in getting me out of my comfort zone a little bit with food and allowing me to be a little more adventurous because back in the day I would always get the same thing everywhere and it was like the most bland probably item on the menu and I mean this really broadened my horizon so I can I really attribute my adventure with food to this restaurant in particular. So we went ahead and ordered everything up front. We got the beet gazpacho, and the reason we did that is because the one we had at Haleo was so good. We really wanted to see if this one is as good. If you haven't seen that video, we'll link it down below. Yeah, we also got an order of shishito peppers, an order of mushroom risotto, which should be delicious, and we got some scallops. And I think he's also bringing us some bruschetta with olive oil. So uh, yeah, we're gonna wait for our food and chow down. Now, one of the things I love so much about a tapas place is that the plates are so small, you can order a lot and try new things. However, if you're not into that kind of thing, I just wanted to let you know that they do have some items on the menu that are made for two people, some much more. They do have quite a few things that take a little bit more time to prepare. He said when he came over that most of the dishes maybe like six, seven minutes to prepare, but they do have some things on the menu that take 20 to 45 minutes, um, like the paella, and actually the paella says 45 to 60 minutes. So just be aware, you might wanna check out the menu before you head over and have a plan for getting a few small plates to enjoy while you're waiting on those items that take a little longer to prepare. They also have some steaks like an eight ounce and a 16 ounce, so it's not all just tiny things. Also, most of the items listed say that they're gluten-free and there are quite a few vegan options. They also have a whole eight pound suckling pig. <laughs> So if I were to come with a group, I would totally get that. Here are the shishito peppers. And as you can see, this is a very large portion. This is a regular size appetizer, in my opinion. So far, well worth the price. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Those are spicy and delicious. My turn. So that pepper was spicy. That got right in the back of my throat. It's really good, but it was, it was very spicy for sure. Very good though. But now the rest of our food is here. So that's the bruschetta with the manchego cheese. And that's the beet gazpacho. And the mushroom risotto. God, I can't wait to try that. So we're just waiting on our scallops, but we're gonna try this food first. All right, first up, the bruschetta. Mm -hmm. 
and it's very good and refreshing. As a nice compliment to the peppers. If you're gonna get the peppers, I would also get something like the bruschetta. And now for the beet gazpacho. Here the scallops with apple puree, caramelized apple on top. Ooh. Thank you. You're welcome. Those are big. That's what she said. The beet gazpacho is very good very refreshing to compare to Haleo is probably not fair like I would have to have them both side by side to do that but it, we after having had this twice now if you ever have a chance to have beet gazpacho definitely try it out now we'll try a bite of the mushroom risotto that is very good Tastes like mushroom risotto, but very good. And now, they were kind enough to bring us out four scallops instead of three. Mm. Yeah, those are very good, cooked perfectly. Very good scallop. So the pan con tomate with manchego cheese. Ah. Chris loves when I try to speak a language that isn't English. I'm very bad. Ooh, that is delicious. Oh man. It's cold. I was confused when Chris said it was refreshing. Because I just always expect things like this to be hot. But it's cold. It's like, it kind of reminds me of the gazpacho, but on crispy, delicious bread with cheese on top. Mm. Oh yeah. We weren't planning on ordering that. He recommended it and I'm so glad that he did. Now for the mushroom risotto. Hmm. I don't think it's like a strong mushroom flavor. I was really expecting like overpowering mushrooms. It's very creamy and very delicious. I guess all the flavors just, you know, kind of go together so that one ingredient isn't overpowering the others. Really good, good choice. And now, scallops, which are one of my favorite seafoods, because I don't eat fish. And this has a apple butter and caramelized apple. I'm very interested in that because I haven't had anything like that ever. I think what I usually get at the place I get scallops, shrimp and scallops, is like a mango, it's like a mango salsa on top and it's delicious. Oh man. I love this so much, I'm crying. It is, oh my God, it's so delicious. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> this could not be better. I mean, the scallops are like melt in your mouth and that apple stuff on it, I mean, perfectly complements it. I, I can't remember the last time I was so pleased with a taste in my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, I have to try the gazpacho. Oh my gosh. Forgot about it. All right. Beet gazpacho. Yeah, it is very good. I would love to try this side by side with the one at Haleo because I think they're pretty similar from what I can remember. Very refreshing. Perfect for the summer in Vegas. Yep, we devoured this food, you guys. The only thing we couldn't finish were the peppers. I will tell you, the, these five dishes were plenty of food for two people. 
and we probably could have gotten away with less. The peppers, the shishito peppers, I will tell you, not all of them are spicy, but some of them will kick your butt. So if you do order them, be prepared. So to recap our experience, the food was delicious and the portions were much bigger than expected. We highly recommend this restaurant. However, we do want to make you aware of something that could affect your experience and that's the last thing we want. While we were ordering, the server recommended the bruschetta and we're very glad that he did and good for him for the upsell. But then he said, here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to have the chef add an extra slice so that you two don't have to split the third one. Now he said the same thing about the scallops because that was supposed to arrive with three pieces and he said he was going to have the chef make us a fourth piece. I was thrilled. I might be naive, but it sounded like he was doing us a favor. I was very shocked when those items were added to our bill. So great food but buyer beware, beware of the upsell. And it's kind of a shame where you have a place where you have so many fond memories with each other and of the place to have left with a bad taste in your mouth. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video and we will see you on the next episode of the Mythi Fried.